Well, the new Boise Library project has been placed on hold. The city making that announcement today, citing concerns over cost and questions of legality. Ada County Clerk sent a letter to the city saying it would not place the city's special election question on upcoming ballots. Our Missy Inglet spoke with both the city and county today to learn more about why they're pumping the brakes. Misty? Well, Brian and Gretchen, first let's take a reminder of the situation here. So if you look at this graphic, here's what we've got. Last month, the Boise City Council adopted an ordinance calling for a special election question. It would have required residents to have a yes or a no vote on whether or not they would support the library project. And that special election question was in response to a people's initiative, which was basically a vote for a vote and would require public input on city projects costing a certain amount of public money. This people's initiative will still be on the November ballot, but it's the city's ordinance that yes or no vote that has now been placed on hold. It's an issue that's been debated for months, a new city library. Many Boise residents have previously voiced concerns over not having enough input on large public projects like the library. In an effort to let residents weigh in and simplify the ballot process, the city adopted its own ordinance in July for a special election question, which would have asked voters yes or no on whether they would support the library project. It's that special ballot question that is now on hold. One reason for that is because Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain says he will not put it on November ballots. McGrain sent a letter to Mayor Dave Beter and the council saying he had, quote, reservations about the city's legal authority to request such elections, end quote. The city would have to take legal action to reverse that decision, which it says it won't do at this time. With the short time frame we had for, for ballot deadlines and for getting language approved and lots of other things that had to take, take place, um, it, the, the time frame was just too short for to make all that happen and still, and still get it out there. In making his decision, McGrain states he reached out to both Idaho Secretary of State Lawrence Denny and Idaho Deputy Attorney General Brian Kane for their opinions. KTVB looked at responses from both. Denny writes, quote, after a thorough review by both my office and the Idaho Attorney General's office, we have concluded that the city does not have the authority to place such an advisory vote question on the ballot, end quote. Kane's opinion agrees, saying advisory ballot questions are permitted only at the county level. He goes on to say the legislature governs municipal elections, giving cities limited authority. Kane also states the city cannot create elections the county would have to pay for. In summary, Kane writes, quote, the broad grant of implied authority by the city of Boise to place the special ballot question upon the ballot is simply not found within existent Idaho law, end quote. The city also adds there was a second reason for hitting the pause button on the library project, increased costs. The market continues to, to be hot, um, the construction market does, and those costs continue to rise. Add that on top of that, the international tariffs that are causing uh, uh, volatility in the steel and the concrete markets, um, it's really become a real challenge. New cost estimates put the library nearly $20 million over the city's planned $85 million budget. Those two things together are really recommended to the mayor. Hey, let's put the brakes on this, let's pause this, and let's, let's talk about this some more. The city doesn't know yet what the next steps will be, but says it still recognizes the need for a new library. Well, Mayor Beter is committed to, to making sure that we, we move forward with this project. Now again, the city's ordinance on the yes or no vote is what has been placed on hold and will not be on November, November ballots. The people's request to vote to have a say in future city projects will still be on November ballots. Gretchen. Thanks, Missy. And because of the city's decision, Tuesday's city council meeting and public hearing about the library have been canceled. Boise Working Together, the group behind the People's Initiative, sent a statement this afternoon saying they support the city's decision to pause the project and allow for more consideration.